Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent and this is 5 things that you must know about Watch Dogs 3. Now it's been quite a while since I discussed Watch Dogs on the channel, but we've had some huge news regarding the location, a female protagonist and more. So let's get into that first fact. Jason Schreier, who is the news editor at Kotaku, confirmed himself that Watch Dogs 3 will be coming and it's going to be coming to the United Kingdom. As you can see here, he posted the UK flag on his Twitter account and has also confirmed in a Kotaku article that it will be coming to London. If you don't already know, Jason Schreier has a very reliable track record of confirming game settings, especially Ubisoft games. He has a very accurate track record of accurately leaking all of the Assassin's Creed games that I can remember, all of their locations, and also previous Watch Dogs games. Jason also went on to say that Ubisoft hasn't actually been subtle about this themselves, and he's right. Back in 2017, Ubisoft actually added a patch to Watch Dogs 2, adding in a new audio conversation right to the end of the game, giving a new kind of easter egg ending. Above this conversation are coordinates that when punched into Google Maps, it actually leads you to an area called Brixton, which is in London. So that's a pretty good hint that Watch Dogs will be going global. It's worth noting that none of the DLCs for Watch Dogs 2 took place in London. I believe they were all in San Francisco and the surrounding areas of San Francisco. So it looks like Ubisoft wanted to share the location of the next Watch Dogs game with their own little easter egg. The next leak included some gameplay details. So this actually came within the same leak that Jason himself verified. And it stated also that there's going to be no Assassin's Creed game in 2019, this year is going to be Watch Dogs 3. There's going to be focus on smaller firearms and knives for combat with a larger emphasis on hacking. And this kind of makes sense, you know, being in the United Kingdom, we don't have access to guns like you would in America. So I guess it's much more appropriate for the London setting for everyone to be carrying a knife. The leak also stated there's going to be a new character option, so you're going to be able to choose a male or a female character just like in Far Cry 5, but the same story. Now this is something that sounds very likely. There was also a new addition to Assassin's Creed in the last title in Assassin's Creed Odyssey set in ancient Greece. You could choose between a male or a female protagonist to play in the game. And I personally went with Cassandra, the female character. I thought she was a pretty awesome protagonist in that game. She had some really great dialogue. The cutscenes were really nice and it was just generally a nice change from always being a male protagonist in the Assassin's Creed games. So I can see Ubisoft wanting to make this an option for more of their IPs like Watch Dogs. You'll be getting exactly the same missions whether you play as a male or female character, but you will obviously have different cutscenes and different dialogue depending who you choose. Next up we had another leak regarding the London setting and some other details. This was a leak that appeared on 4chan, which as you know is the most reliable source on the internet for leaks. That was a joke by the way if anyone's wondering. This leak states that Watch Dogs 3 is going to be set in London and the main character is a young lady named Sarah. She's half Asian and half English. She works for a computer terrorist organization in a branch that specializes in stopping cyber attacks. She is tasked with infiltrating a hacker group, bringing their operations down and finding out who is in charge. You won't be able to use weapons like guns or knives but instead batons, tasers and other non-lethal weapons. Parkour is making a return from Watch Dogs 2 and has been revised so it feels more fluid and more natural. You can also skateboard and graffiti. Side missions include finding drug dens and getting them shut down as Sarah has a strong dislike for them as her brother, spoiler alert, actually died from a drug overdose. It's going to be set in the near future and the city will feel like a slight more cyberpunk than the other games. Mobs will form and riots will begin. You can either take part in them or shut them down. Lastly, it stated that the game will be teased two weeks before E3 and have a full gameplay reveal at E3 and it will be released in November 2019. Now, interestingly, this leak does not mention that there's a choice between a male or a female character. It states there's only one female protagonist that you can play as and we have no real idea who this person leaking this information is. This could have been potentially maybe just a playtester that got to play a very short hands-on with the game and maybe in their demo they played as a female character 
so it was assumed that that was the only protagonist you could play in the game, since previous Watch Dogs games only had one protagonist. So maybe there was an option to have a male protagonist that they didn't see in the game, and that could explain why they never mentioned that in their leak. And moving on to the last and probably the most telling leak came from some Ubisoft Star Players. If you don't already know, Ubisoft has a program called Star Players where they reward their most passionate community members. And these are people who are top contributors on Ubisoft forums and the fan sites and the communities. So people that stand out in Ubisoft communities as being positive influences for the game or the community. They quite often get noticed and get rewarded by Ubisoft, which is a really cool incentive. So it's been confirmed that Ubisoft has actually invited multiple star players from the Watch Dogs community, and they've invited them along to E3 with an all-expenses-paid trip. Now, it's very unlikely that Ubisoft would fly out dedicated Watch Dogs community figures to E3 and to their E3 conference for a new Rabbids game. <laughs> this pretty much confirms that Watch Dogs will have a presence at this year's E3. It's likely they will be revealing gameplay, maybe even giving people hands-on at the event, and that's why they're going to be taking them out there. I'm actually going to be heading out to Los Angeles this June. I'm going to be attending E3, and I'm pretty excited to see what Ubisoft have in store for us there. Ubisoft usually have a very exciting press conference. They usually always announce multiple new games, and quite often announce a new IP every year also. I'm pretty sure most of my subscribers at the moment are Grand Theft Auto fans, and I'm sure it's going to be another few years before we hear anything about GTA 6. So if you guys are looking forward to a new open world game, maybe you can check out Watch Dogs 3, and uh, feel free to let me know if you want me to cover it more on my channel. I think the London setting in particular is very unique for an open world game. I don't think GTA will ever go back to London, so this should be a really cool game and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more about it. If you guys did enjoy this video and would like to see more Watch Dogs 3 news on the channel, please take a few seconds to leave the video a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future updates. Have a good one guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.